Hey YouTubers, Mr. Rampro here, and we've got another review. Um, this knife you've seen before. This is the uh, Gerber Evo. This is the medium sized, and you've seen it in a couple other videos that I've done, but I've never done a full on review of it, so I figured I would go ahead now and give us one just real quick, give us some ins and outs and all that kind of stuff. Um, let's see, we'll go ahead and start with the uh, coating. You'll see that it's got the solid black blade which is pretty cool they call it a uh, titanium nitride coating nitride coating I guess it is a liner lock knife with factory jimping on the liner so that's actually a really good plus for me in my book I hate having liners that I can't actuate evenly or uh, frame locks that I can't actuate you know smoothly so I really like that this is actually done from the factory so that's pretty cool We've got a deep ride pocket clip right here on the side, so it's going to ride really deep in your pocket, so that's pretty cool. And we've got aluminum handles with a bunch of holes punched in them for, uh, I guess, ease of cleaning and uh, weight reduction, so that's pretty nice. We've got a three and a quarter inch blade, so not too bad. It's a pretty good EDC blade, and uh, closed we've got four and a half inches. Now originally when I got this the uh, lockup was kind of sloppy so I uh, adjusted the pivot screw put some Loctite on it and now I've got a nice uh, fluid motion and this is you know a regular manual knife no assisted opening or anything like that but this thing is pretty smooth now so that's pretty cool after a little bit of work it worked out pretty good for us we did add uh, jimping. You can see how the color, distra uh, color distortion sorry, here on the back. We added jimping with the Dremel tool, and you saw that in that video. And I haven't done anything since adding the black Sharpie to kind of cover it, and didn't get into the cracks very well. So if you're wondering, that's what that is. Um, the jimping that we did add is actually really aggressive and uh, effective. So that's pretty cool we did sharpen it put a different edge on it in that same video so we haven't done anything extra with that edge but it hasn't also been put in any cutting task yet either so that's pretty cool um, cool that we haven't tested it because it would probably fail because this thing had a terrible edge on it from the factory and failed miserably in the cut test out in the field so we'll have to uh, redo the edge and um, you know see what we get from there but I'll let you know lock up a little sloppy from the factory edge from the factory kinda crap kinda comparable to your uh, CRKT um, their EDC blade or the M16 model something like that um, kinda comparable to that but I really like the way this looks it's got a really nice pointed blade to it and uh, fits really nice in the hand and it's just a, a really smooth looking blade really and after a little bit of work on the liner and on the pivot, pivot screw. Um, don't have too many problems with it. An edge, you know, uh, you, you could definitely use an edge on it. But other than that, I really don't have too many bad things to say about this one. I'm not sure about the steel. I've heard a lot of people say, you know, Gerber's mystery steel. So we're right there in that same boat with that. And you do have the ability to actuate it with a thumb stud or the flipper. Flipper's cool, yeah. Um, the thumb stud, I'm just not that good with that thumb stud. I don't know. Um, you are extremely close to your liner, but you still have a little bit um, to your handle scales. You still have a little bit to get into it, but I've never really been that great on these kind of thumb studs. But this flipper, this flipper's pretty nice. And uh, works really well for an EDC blade, especially for a cheaper alternative. MSRP on this thing's $33. Uh, this one I think was a little cheaper, so right maybe 25, 20, something like that. Um, I've had it a little bit, but realistically, for a cheaper EDC blade, this is not bad. Add to the collection, not bad at all. Light tactical use, maybe a military member going overseas, not bad. Um, definitely to thrash on, use and abuse, not have to worry about tearing up, you know. You're not tearing up a really expensive knife, and uh, you still have a really cool, sleek look and good action too so yeah work on your factory edge and you've got a pretty good blade here well this is Mr. Ram Pro and I appreciate you guys watching thanks a lot for the feedback 
Y'all be good.